Hi, my name is Rich Harrington, and welcome to this edition of Video Adrenaline, where today we're going to be exploring the interaction between Adobe Photoshop and After Effects. I want to show you a technique today for distressing your text using a photo layer as a texture map. Here's how it works. Now, I've started off here in Photoshop, and I've got just a nice photo with some texture in it. This particular case, it's just a picture of a wooden fence. And what I'm going to do is process this image a little bit. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Adjustments, and we'll choose Equalize. It's all the way down there at the bottom. And Equalize does a nice job of forcing the blacks and the whites and really pumps up the contrast in an image. Now, once I've got that contrast where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and do a black and white adjustment just to get rid of the color, but really sort of pull this in so I'm getting what I want. And as I drag through there, we're just giving different emphasis to different areas of the texture. And that's looking pretty good. I'll click OK. And I'm pretty happy with that. And what we're going to do is just further push this with a levels adjustment. And we're going to pull those whites in so we get some white in there. We don't want to have all black. What we want is just some texture peeking through. That's looking pretty good. Now, if you want flexibility, don't do that destructively. Toss on an adjustment layer for levels, and you could do all of that right in the levels adjustment there until you're happy with sort of the look you're getting. That's looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead there and just collapse that. And I'm going to take those two layers, right click on them, and choose Convert to Smart Object, and we'll call that Texture Map. Now, making something a smart object is very much like pre comping in After Effects. You're nesting those two objects together. They remain editability, but they really look like a flattened layer. But at any point in time, you could jump inside of it with a right click and actually make adjustments to that pretty simply. Let's add a text layer T for text. And we'll just get some white text and draw it out, dragging to place our text box. Select my text, drag to get the size I want, open up the paragraph panel there if necessary. We'll set that to auto for letting. And let's go with a little more aggressive font. A lot of people don't realize that they could actually just click right in here, press Command H to hide the selection, and then use the up and down arrows to cycle through. That looks pretty cool here. I kind of like that one actually. Good. Hard return. There we go. And we're just adjusting the letting so we're happy with the space between the two lines. Good. Now this particular text is already a bit distressed, but we're going to use the texture layer to take it a little bit further. We can scale this text. It's fully vector. That works great. Get it so we're happy with it. And at this point, I want to kick it over to After Effects so we can animate. So here's goes. Let's save this. And we'll just make this a Photoshop document. We'll call it Distress Text. Save it with layers. And we could switch on over to After Effects and bring that in. And we'll import that as a composition. Now, when we open that up, you'll see that the layers remain intact. The cool thing is, is that the font is fully editable. So if I select that text layer and choose Layer, Convert to Editable Text, you'll see that all the appearance of the text remains the same. But if we double click, we're actually in a real After Effects text layer that you could adjust or animate or do anything you need to. So we could adjust the kerning there between pairs of letters if necessary. That looks pretty good. Let's add a drop shadow to that so it stands out just a little bit. We'll do that with a layer style. There we go. Good. And we've got some decent separation there. Now, what I'm going to do is put that texture map on top. 
And let's just copy both of these layers and put them into a comp that has something going on in it. Looks pretty good. We'll position the text. Good. S for scale. There we go. Let's turn on our safe title area real quick. And that looks pretty good there. We've got the texture layer on top, and what we're going to do is deal with track mats. Now track mats let you use one layer to hide or reveal parts of the layer down below. Since we're using a texture here that's black and white, we're going to use luma values, the lightness and darkness, to create that mat. So here we go. We'll click the switches and modes, and we're going to go ahead and tell it to use the luma value of the texture above. And when we do that, you see it's creating revealing in there. Let's zoom in a bit here. And what's happening there is that the background is actually showing through. That wooden texture is being applied, and it's creating a nice texture map onto this, creating partial transparency in the text down below. If you want, you can invert that, and you'll see that it behaves differently. Now what I'll typically do is lower the opacity just a bit for that map. There we go. And at any point in time, you could tweak this. It's a layer, so you can move it around and change its position to sort of affect how the text is being modified. That works well. Or you could just simply select it and press Command E and be right back inside of Photoshop. There's that smart object. And we could just go ahead and actually edit it. We're right inside. There we go. Select that. Let's push that a little bit brighter and tighten those blacks up there. Close, save. When we switch back over to After Effects, look, it updates. So lots of great flexibility there as you're working to create those distressed maps that will let you sort of grunge the text up and create a nice texture. And that's all done just by using a photo source layer. So hopefully that gives you some ideas on how great the text engine in Photoshop interacts with After Effects and how you can use your own layers to create a little bit of texture or reveals over time using your texture layers. For Video Adrenaline Creative Cow, my name's Rich Harrington.